Good morning, afternoon. It's July 23, 2023. I want to talk a little bit about something that I just found having to do with Microsoft Encarta Encyclopedia. Now, just, you know, out of the gate here, this isn't going to be clickbait or anything like that. I'm actually going to give you a link to the downloadable book uh, in the in the uh, comments below. But um, I just want to talk a little bit about my interest in uh, Microsoft Encarta Encyclopedia and research in general and how I go about it. I do it a little bit differently than a lot of other people on the internet. I'm kind of a geek. I've been around computers since the mid-90s. Um, got on the internet in 1995. I think I first came across Microsoft Encarta like in 1995 or 1996. And um, I didn't really use it until around 99 or 2000. And uh, I'm going to load up 96 real quick. Imagine that you were... So this is the, uh, I'm running it in Windows XP here. And I just, I've always loved it. An encyclopedia where you could just, you know, learn anything you want. I actually really like Encarta and I like it, the interface better than Wikipedia. Uh, one of my favorite things about it is the further reading down here below. Because these are um, these are actual further reading suggestions by by experts, so they know what is you know reputable, what's vetted and solid history and information uh, having to do with other books here. Anyway, we're not going to go through too much in Carta, because um, I uh, I think that what's great about the internet is that you can go download all the versions of Encarta right now. And I'm a big fan of reading about this in Carta, learning more about it. And this right here is Microsoft's channel, Microsoft Developer. And there's a woman here in the middle named uh, Misty Madonna, I think her name is. And she um, got some of the original team to be interviewed here. Of, of different cases and situations. For this video. Introducing a... So there's that, and then there's remembering Microsoft and Carta. Branding. Right, and eventually the, and that was the reference. Really awesome information in these two videos. That's 45 minutes, the other one's 37 minutes. That's really cool. But also besides that, I've always kind of been a fan of, uh, you know, not only just computers, but reading some of the books having to do with it. This guy named uh, Fabian Sanglard, he's got a website. He actually just this year talked about the joy of computer history books. And um, I've read a lot of these. <laughs> like Showstopper is a really good one about the history of and building of Microsoft Windows NT, which was really enlightening for me. I really love Game Over by David Sheff having to do with Nintendo. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still, uh, you know, oh, Masters of Doom right here, which is about id software and the game Doom. Um, but yeah, I love books like this. But today, today, 2023, I found out that there's a book for Microsoft Encarta. I had no idea about it. Um, I was doing some searches on uh, archive.org, which I normally do for Encarta, just to see if there's any new ISOs worth downloading. And this one came up. This was just scanned on July 18th, 2023. And how do I know it was scanned? It's because it's a station 19, whatever. That is like a robot scan, I think, if I understand archive.org correctly. They do a lot of automatic scanning. And uh, when I searched in Carta, this came up, and I'm like, what the, f what the hell in Carta? This book is called I Sing the Body Electronic, A Year with Microsoft on the Multimedia Frontier. I couldn't believe it. So, as you can see, it says borrow for one hour. Well... Uh, I have a video on my channel called how to download books from archive.org permanently. And that's what I did. I downloaded this permanently because I'm not going to borrow it for an hour. That's not good enough. Uh, you could also buy it, of course, but I wanted the digital version. And this is not on many book websites like uh, Libgen and, you know, Z Library and uh, My Anonymous and things like that. Private torrent site having to do with books and audiobooks wasn't there. Didn't even know about it. And and not only that, I've done lots of research. Uh, as you can see, I own, I have downloaded tons of ISOs having to do this is in Carta. This is just in Carta, 93, 94, 95, all sorts of different versions. And then eventually, like in 98 or 99, we started getting the reference suite, which came out of DVD. And so uh, I have all that stuff and I, I'm always looking for more. Um. But I, I really like that what Misty 
the Microsoft employee, the one who did the interviews here, Misty Madonna, I really liked on her Twitter account, she posted pictures right here from the Microsoft history room because she works at Microsoft. So she has access to this Microsoft history room, which uh, they have all the, all the versions of Microsoft Encarta, which to me is awesome. I want like better pictures of this. This is good, but I wanna see what else. Look at this is 94, you know, this is uh, Encarta Africana. You know, I think this is uh, 95 right here. There's so many different versions, you know? So I really like this history room picture she took. She took three of them. And um, so I've been saving all that stuff. And then I've been saving like the stuff from eBay. Now this is a kind of a rare one from 2001, the DVD from 2001 with a reference suite. This barely comes up on eBay. Eventually, I, f I think I found it and I uploaded it to archive.org. So thankfully, it's not lost. <laughs> I, so I, I'm a big collector of Encarta stuff. I love it. Um, I bought several versions of Encarta, ripped them and put them up on archive.org to share because I really feel that this stuff should last, that it shouldn't go away. And one, one of the things that these developers actually said is that they said they regretted how much time they spent working on these encyclopedias and you, they don't even exist anymore, he said. Well, that made me a little upset. It could have been an ignorant comment, but they do still exist, and you can still use them, as you just saw. I've been using a virtual box to run the, an emulator to, to run the uh, software. But I like uh, Misty Madonna. She did interviews with uh, Uncarta. Here's a, uh, a medium.com article on it, and that's her um, post from uh, Twitter. That's the book that I found here. And I'm going to open the book in a, in a couple minutes here, but um, I wanted to show what other research I did. I also have actual scientific stuff, scientific documents on this. These are like Google Scholar searches on Encarta. And I, you know, I vacuumed up as much as I could find. I even manually requested like this one right here, which is not possible to get for free. They want you to pay for it. So I found somebody who has access to it who sent it to me. It's just a, a review of Microsoft Encarta, but... I wanted as much Encarta information as I can muster. And, oh, here's an interesting one. Check this one out. The Sounds of Microsoft, the cultural production of music on CD-ROMs. And this talks a lot about Encarta 97, World Atlas. And it's kind of a big article. Look at this, several pages long. Very interesting stuff. But none of these documents mention anything about that book. Let me type in Encarta here. Yep, there we go. I just searched in Carta and it's talking about it in this. Um, yes, it even talks about in Carta in this, bi in this uh, biology book right here. It's talking about fractal compression on JPEGs, JPEG file format right here. And TIFFs and things like that. But yeah, I thought it was interesting that this book brought that, brought in Carta up. Um, let's see. Yep, more, more having to do with in Carta. Africana, a lot of uh, reviews and information about that. A study of cognitive style effects on secondary student strategies. It talks about Encarta. Isn't that cool? But yeah, I've downloaded all these, man. I've uh, collected all sorts. Again, none of these documents mention anything about that book. And so I had no idea it existed until today. Thankfully, archive.org exists and they, uh, they shared it. So. So um, I'm very grateful. Uh, let's see what else I can cover. Yeah, that's about it. So I downloaded it and I, there's two versions of it. There's the normal one right here, which I downloaded. And as you can see, the text is not highlightable. I cannot highlight it with my mouse. It's not, so that means it's also not searchable. However, I did some commands in Linux, which I do mention in um, my, my video having to do with downloading archive.org. Now, check it out. It's highlightable and searchable. And sure enough, there's a chapter in here, um, right here, the Encarta years. So I, I just can't believe this whole book is about encyclopedias and Microsoft multimedia. I had no, again, I had no idea it existed. I'm so happy that I got this and it made me do a little bit more research on what are the books that are uh, that I find to be interesting. And like I said, um, I'm actually, they mentioned it right here. Let's see, the body, here we go, right here. 
I seen the body electronic Fred movie Moody 1995 so this guy right here on uh, a hacker forum hacker news forum he mentioned some books similar to uh, you know computer related Microsurfs, whatever never heard of that Microsoft secrets never heard of that but again I've read some of these but um, I'm just glad that you know these books exist I, I just find it interesting that there's some in-depth information in here about something I love so much and I know nobody's gonna care about this I mean I'm like the only one well maybe maybe Misty might be interested but uh, people aren't interested in this software they just use Wikipedia now and I just don't think Wikipedia even competes with the with Microsoft and Carta yeah and Carta's outdated but um, I still think it's fantastic I mean the interface just implores you to keep learning and it to me it's written by actual experts in the field and therefore it's more credible than some 14 year old you know writing on wikipedia so i'm gonna read this soon and um there's not an audiobook of this unfortunately that's fine i guess i'm a, I'm a big fan of audiobooks um i run an audiobook shelf server right here this is my audiobook shelf server and uh, i just made a collection uh today having to do with computers and internet related you know where wizards stay up late that's a good book that wouldn't scale up um this one people are saying is good and i never listened to this one tracy kidder the soul of a new machine and not woods and corporate armies with dreams of building cor yeah I, I never heard of that one um andrew keen cult of the amateur i like that one the internet is not the answer also andrew keen uh, I don't agree with everything that Andrew the King, King guy says, but uh, he's pretty funny in some cases. But yeah, uh, it's fine. You know, I'll read the book. I'm I, I still read ebooks. That's fine. But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, put the crap in the in the description or not the description, but the uh, the comments below. I'm just excited right now. So that's why I'm making this video, not for any other reason, other than that, and all the stupid shit I do on the internet because I'm I'm a geek, you know. I'm on the internet. Of course I'm a geek. All right. See you later.